welcome back. Now, therapy is always a valid option for those that need help or have been traumatised. But what happens when people are subjected to therapy when they're told that they're sick but are perfectly fine? For some, the consequences can be dire. Moisha Kerler and Lottie Bielan have more. A pseudoscientific treatment has been making headlines in Israel. The reason? Israel's education minister publicly endorsed it, before public outrage forced him to withdraw his support. But the remarks by Minister Rafi Peretz thrust conversion therapy, also called reparative theory, firmly into the spotlight. I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Okay. Yes. I can tell you that I have a deep knowledge of the education subject. And I've done it. The reactions to Peretz's television interview were quick to come. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu led the condemnations. And critics pointed out that in 2014, the Israeli Ministry of Health declared conversion therapy dangerous and warned that it could cause serious harm. Most of the guys that I know that went through conversion therapies had some suicidal thoughts. And I know some, some that uh, had attempts to do it. And I know actually also guys that succeeded in the suicidal attempts. Shai attended conversion therapy for about three years when he was in high school. I actually committed a suicide attempt that was, of course, a failure. And then afterwards, I just uh, decided to accept myself and uh, to recognize this uh, identity. We tried to schedule an interview with an alleged conversion therapist in Israel whose number was listed on the website of an American conversion therapy organization known to operate in Israel. He denied carrying out the practice and even knowing what it is. However, one of his former patients agreed to talk to us anonymously. I met on a uh, journey into manhood retreat where he was a member of staff trying to change people's orientation from gay to straight. One of the most infamous techniques used in conversion therapy is something called guts works, based loosely on psychodrama. So guts work involves um, reenacting a traumatic life event, which could be bullying, it could be sexual abuse, it could be a death, um, and it involves reenacting that scene with people who are there in the room. I've seen some really horrible things where men um, really have relived some of the most horrendous events of their lives and there's a lot of screaming a lot of times there are props involved you know a baseball bat i look back on those times as they were pretty um they were pretty traumatic incidents and i wouldn't recommend them on anyone though many practitioners in israel still claim that conversion therapy is legitimate many of their american colleagues have repudiated conversion therapy after decades of practice and it will always cause people to go off the rails and so we were a part of that picture i took away a huge chunk of your childhood and your innocence and your faith with the practice discredited in the United States, it is no wonder that Minister Peretz quickly walked back his comments. Now, for more.